to be in the reality of what you say, in the reality of what you do. And it can be a little different on each take, but each time it's there. And it relies on, on, on the sense of, of freedom. You have to be completely free. If you, if you want to take time before you say something, if you want to say it quickly or fast, I mean, it's just the impulse of what you feel on the moment you do it. And, and you immediately feel if a director is, is uh, receptive to this idea of freedom. He's not, forget about it, goodbye. Filmmaker Magazine presents Back to One with Peter Rinaldi. Isabel Luper is an actor. On the occasion of an incredible retrospective of her movies at the Film Forum in New York City, beginning on October 7th, she sat down with me in cyberspace to talk about the work. You've said somewhere, the other person begins to grow inside me. That's the way you spoke about your beginning process of letting a character inhabit you. And I was wondering, is there anything that you actually have to do? Do you have to feed this creature? And if so, what, what, is, it, what is it that you feed it? Well, yes, it's a good uh, metaphor. You know, it's uh, the growing of something. It's like a little seed you put in your brain, in your body, uh, and, it, and it grows and it grows. And yeah, some, someone is, is growing uh, within, within you. It's, a, it's an idea. It's, a, it's, it's images. It's, it's feelings. It's, a, it's, like, um, it's like clouds passing in the sky, actually. It's, it can be very, very uh, Im- immaterial also. But it's enough to when the when it when when it says uh, action to put all these little sensations all together and then it's enough to give you the fuel to to do it to act actually mm-hmm. it seems like you always had this like i just put on a, a violetta and you you had this from the beginning of 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 the work that we can see it doesn't feel like there was this thing where suddenly you you started to do this on this level. It seems like you were always on this level. Yes, uh, and I still am because I like this idea of a, of repetition. I think yes, I don't think that in a, in a way I changed every anything since I started. I, I would of course maybe my my voice might might have uh, grew uh, uh, lower and things have, might have changed, but there's something initial which has never changed in a way and that might be um, the the very strong awareness of what it means to uh, the, the present moment the present time in cinema which means that in fact the moment you do something there is no other way you could do it and that's a very reassuring uh, feeling in a way that's that's the way you have to do it it's there is something that commands what you do and that that's the film itself. And that means also a, a great, a great uh, trust in the film, a, a huge confidence in the film, but that's not difficult for me to have this trust. It goes with uh, the pleasure of doing it. It goes with uh, the trust that you have in a director. It goes with the pleasure that you have to say certain dialogues. Uh, it goes with so many little elements that bring you to this um, moment where you do it and there is no other way to do it. Of course, there is other way in the sense that you can bring some little variations. But, you know, Chabrol was an interesting director in the sense that I always felt that he never really directed Chabrol. He never said something. And in fact, uh, you felt that these little variations uh, were not really important for the whole of the film. Um, certain things, I, I, I did it in a certain humor, in a certain way, in a certain spirit. But I always felt that if I would have done it a little bit sadder, a little bit happier, mm-hmm. lower, 
or a little bit, I mean, lower or whatever, it wouldn't change because he would, uh, he would not even, I mean, I'm sure he would notice, but he would not tell you because it was taken in, a, in something broader than this. I see what you mean. I know what you mean. But this is so hard. It's so hard to really believe that, although I do. But, it, but I'm saying there's a part of me that wants to not believe that <laughs> because what you're saying is that you were, you're just one part of this entire very large thing that's happening. And being aware of that is part of what you do well. Some of the things that you say, which I like you to talk a little bit about now, is the idea of where the camera is placed and how it's moving is saying something to you as an actor that you have to listen to. Of course, yeah. I don't think actors think a lot about that. I think that they, you know what I mean? It feels like you have another way of feeling about that. I would like you to talk about it. But you don't really have to think about it. You just have to feel it, but not to, certainly not to think about it. Mm -hmm. When I say that I'm not the director and I'm, I'm not by no means interfering on, on, on the camera movements, on the, but uh, the, the cinema is like a... It's a, a language, and you feel like the camera is like a, is organic. You know, it 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 goes at the right moment. In the, it it's also it has a certain movement. In some cases, some in some other cases, it's just you know uh, close-ups and uh, and uh, champ contre champ and uh, but um, it's a language, and you play with it and. Uh, it's a good company <laughs> most of the time. I have yeah. to say, Mara is really a good company. How much does curiosity play into what you do? Is this is this one of the main tools or ingredients in what you do? And yes, but it that. not it might not be the the main ingredient. I'm curious as a person in life. I like when if I go to an apartment, I like to get into the bedrooms. I'm very curious. I'm very indiscreet. I like to see how people live. You know, <laughs> I'm joking, not too much. But <laughs> how I am curious. I'm curious. I, mean, I like to look at things in the street. I like to look. I like to. Um, when it comes to 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 act, yes, of course, I'm 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 curious. But I also I think I'm also interested by people who whom I, I feel um, are going to give me some feedback and to, to get some kind of a special interest in who I am and who, who create a special connection in what they want to do and myself. It's a, so, f yeah, for, I mean, I'm, I'm curious, but I'm not a philanthropic, you know, as an actress. I, I just yeah. do it by myself. <laughs> You are sometimes more selfish than anything else sometimes when you are an actress, which is good. It's for the good of the film anyway. But I have to be pleased. Yeah. It has to make me happy. It seems like you actually enjoy the differences in directors. It seems like you, it's almost, that is also something that you feed off of. Like you don't work with the same kind of director. What do you mean the same kind of director? Well, I guess I mean like people who really love actors or or give a lot of freedom. I do, I do work with people who do love actors. Like somebody like Godard might, might not be considered but, somebody. But that, uh, Godard loved actors. Oh, this is interesting. I never heard that. <laughs> no, yes. But he didn't give a lot of freedom though, right? Uh, but actors doesn't really require freedom most of the time. He, he requires restrictions on the contrary. And you, you, you find your freedom in the restrictions, in the limitations. Otherwise, you don't find any freedom. You just uh, go, you, you go the, the cinema, movie making is you have to have, a, you know, very clear path. And, uh, and certainly it would give you a very clear Path, and that was enough to be free. Actually, I, I don't work. I don't want to work with a certain type of people. I don't. I don't have this. I'm. I'm. I'm open to any. Any. Yeah, that's what it seems places, like. Hopefully, to good surprises. But by definition, you don't know exactly how someone is going to work. And that's what is interesting about it. I don't yeah. have a definition of what kind of people I want to work with. I just want to work with great directors that's all <laughs> do you have to adjust 
than your process for each director? I guess that's what I really want to know. Are you feeding off their differences and then adjusting your the way you do it? Or are you are you just kind of moving them toward the way you work? That's not the way it works. It's a, it's a mutual it's 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 a mutual uh, movement. You don't you don't do uh, to uh, accommodate someone's way of doing, it and he doesn't do it to accommodate your way of doing. It's it just happens. It's not even something something that you think about actually. Mm. It's sure there is more harmony in doing it. It's not the kind of things you think actually. Yeah, that's not the way I. I feel it works most of the time mm-hmm. because no clear definition on how it works. I, I think the only clear definition is if you feel good and if you feel uh, that you can express things just the way you want to express them. And that's enough. And that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. And, you know, you, were, you mentioned Chabral and you said somewhere that he only said one thing to you for Madame Bovary, which is just one little thing about how he thinks that maybe she th- feels like she's superior. Oh, and yeah. You, and you took that and yeah. ran, ran with that. The idea of over-directing can be a problem, though, right? If somebody wants to keep talking to you about this character all through the shoot, <laughs> if a director that wants to keep... That's a problem. <laughs> people, who, people who talk too much, yes, that's a problem most of the time. Because what? Like, it, it, they, that... Uh, inhibits your own creativity, and it's that's just what's because important? it's not necessary. <laughs> uh, it's not about questions and answers, or at least not on the literal level. Again, more like through through the camera, through the language of, of cinema, and cinema is a language, so it usually goes with the right questions and with the good answers, but through the language of cinema, not through something more explanatory or verbal. Do you have an ideal environment on a set that brings out the best in you? Or does that question even make no sense? (laughs) (laughs) Um, It doesn't, no, you you can't, no, I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, you don't work like that. Precise, uh, no. I reached out to a, a director you worked with, Ira Sachs, mm-hmm. and here's what he said about you. What's wonderful and vital about working with Isabel is that her illustrious career and vast past experience creates no shadow. She's so focused on being in the present moment, the possibility of capturing something new and immediate, that it's as if each time she's making her first film. She erases the past as an actress and as a person by living in an infinite curiosity about what can be discovered in art, in theater, in film, in life, and maybe most of all, in and through a performance. I thought that was so beautiful. I couldn't say better. Yeah. Yeah. Finish the interview with this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I wanted, I was going to, but I needed to ask you something about that though. It feels like looking into your work and a a very important thing is this present moment. It might be the most important thing. Correct me if I'm wrong for how, how you work. I, 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 I want you to just talk about what that really means though, because that might be, it's a kind of an abstract idea. I think that this is so huge for actors to do and so hard. Well, no, I don't think it's hard. I think it's much harder to do to do otherwise. Actually, it's just I don't know how to say more that, but by saying just to be in the present moment, meaning to to be in the in the reality of what you say, in the reality of what you do, and it can be a little different on each take, but each time it's there. That's all. It's nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. And it relies on, on, on the sense of, of freedom. You have to be completely free. If you, if you want to take time before you say something, if you want to say it quickly or fast, I mean, 
it's just the impulse of what you feel on the moment you do it. It, it goes with the idea of freedom. And, and you immediately feel if a director is, is uh, receptive to this idea of freedom. He's not, forget about it, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, you can't, you know, it, it, if someone is deaf and blind to this kind of, 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 of texture, it's very, it, it's very, very difficult, you know. But, mo but most of the time they are not because they know that it's, it's like in music. You, it's like playing an instrument. So it gives air to silence, to rapidity, to all sorts of, because I think acting is, it's also a lot of, uh, um, about rhythm. And that also um, interferes with your partner. I, always, I keep saying mm -hmm. to play is not is to play with, and 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 it's very, and you play when the, the you are completely in tune with someone in front of you, and if it if if it's not the case, it's uh, it's not very nice actually. Well, what do you do when it's not the case? How do you get them with you? Oh, there is always a way to yeah. It's not the end of the world, you know, you, 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 but you, it makes things a little less pleasant. You feel a little less free, but it, but you can also play with it because it's part of the, mm -hmm. of the moment, even <laughs> if somebody is not exactly the way you expected him to be, but it, it has to do something. You, you can integrate this, this, uh, um, little event and, and, and do something out of it. It's the idea to do something of anything. That's why also, you know, when you have a little accident, when you do a scene, let's say you have to, I don't know, to open a bottle and you have to say a line as you are opening the bottle and it's difficult to open the bottle, but you, 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 you welcome this. You don't stop on the contrary, you know, you, you, you take it. It's part of the, of the scene and to play with the difficulty of opening a bottle or whatever. It's just, but that, that well, that's what it means to be in the present moment. It's more about imperfections than about perfection. You said that it actually gives you pleasure to play someone suffering. And I was wondering, when you see actors, sometimes even your co-stars, that are themselves suffering before, during, and after playing someone suffering in other words they they feel like they need to go through this and suffer and then they make other people suffer in their lives because they need to do this work do you think like they are somehow using muscles they don't have to do and and kind of damaging themselves oh i'm too busy on what i do to, to have the <laughs> comment and appreciation and, uh, and uh, i don't know I, I couldn't answer that question you don't have judgments about how other people do it, I think. No, I don't have judgment because it does not even go into my... Everybody does the way he wants, you know, I don't... Uh, yeah. Everybody has his own little way of doing and it's... Uh, and uh, it, it, it really... It's very private and it belongs to everybody and, uh, and uh, I wouldn't have any... I'm not interested in, in interfering in this kind of... A, of, of happening yeah so you know you have been beloved for so long and lately you have been you know really getting a lot of love it seems rightfully so but it's not until like something like film forum in new york is doing this wonderful retrospective and it's not it's not until we get to look at all of these films that i think we realize like it's almost like this is a sample of the great international cinema of modern times that you've been involved with. Yeah, yeah, because it's a, uh, it yeah, yes, I, and it doesn't include all of them actually. But it's a good selection, yes, that reflects the great variety, <clears throat> and yeah. uh, and um, it's not about only about about the quantity or uh, the quality of the people I've been working with, but it's the great variety, and that's a. Uh, Yes, a reality of my work. And there are some people that say that you are the best actor on the planet. And I'm wondering if 
do you actually think that that's a problem? Because that means that you haven't failed enough. Well, it's a problem if I believe it, but it's not a problem if I don't. If I believe it a little bit, not too much. If I believe it uh, too much, it's a problem. I believe it a little bit. So <laughs> gives me some... some um, um, a spark. Future. <laughs> Isabelle Luper, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Back to One is a production of Filmmaker Magazine, which is a publication of The Gotham, formerly IFP. Listen to back episodes of this podcast at filmmakermagazine.com or wherever you get your podcasts.